Hello and welcome to another new construction home tour. Today we're going inside the Alamosa from Taylor Morrison's in the McCanta community. Now to save time, I'm gonna throw the stats up on the screen for this home so you can see it, as opposed to taking a minute to recite them. And I'm also gonna tell you more about this community in a voiceover as I'm walking you through this home. Now the most important thing I want you to know because, oh yeah, by the way, if you're new to my channel, my name is Tori Drake. I'm a local Denver realtor who does a ton of work in the new construction space in the greater Denver area, including Castle rock in between castle rock all that good stuff north of denver all that fun stuff now the most important thing i want you to know about my new construction home tours because the bulk of what i do on my channel is it doesn't matter when the video is posted one year ago five years ago you can use my channel my playlist to shop for your new home in denver because even if this exact home behind me is available in five years. The builders build new communities, they take these model homes and plug them into that community. So if you want an updated list of where you can find this home or any home on my channel or any new construction home, feel free to reach out to me. My information is in the description. I can put together a list for you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the tour. All right, guys, let's talk about this McCanta community. It is quite exciting. It is northeast of Castle Rock, and it's just 10 to 15 minutes from downtown Castle Rock. And if you're not familiar with Castle Rock, it has tons of shopping, restaurants, grocery stores. I have a whole community tour that you can check out on my channel as well that tells you everything I think you should know. So you're 10 to 15 minutes away from there, so that means you have easy access to that city, but you're still removed enough that you feel like you're in your own oasis. And McCanta has 400 150 acres of um, regional park open space, 13 miles of mountain biking trails, and it comes. It has its own rec center in the community called the Spoke, which is going to have a gym, you know, TVs, a lounging area, a bike shop if you need to work on your bike for anything like that, fill up air on the tires or anything, because it's really popular in the Castle Rock in Colorado, you know, area. It has a co-working space with you know coffee and a pool, so you're going to have so much of what you need in your community to just live and enjoy your day-to-day -day life and you know enjoy nature and, and get out and get a workout in you know in their gym or outside but then if you need anything from the city you're 10 to 15 minutes away from castle rock so that is pretty freaking awesome Yeah, guys, by the way, if you haven't checked me out on Instagram and TikTok, uh, feel free to take a look and see if you dig the content. I post a lot of fun, I think, sassy stuff on there about, you know, Denver real estate, Castle Rock, uh, just this greater Denver area as a whole. I do really quick home tours on there as well of uh, video homes that do not go on my YouTube channel. So check it out. Something I like about this home is it has all the bedrooms on the front of the home and then the primary bedroom is on the back end of the property. Um, so that keeps it nice and separated. So, if, you know, you got kids and they're up early and one parent is sleeping in. It just, you know, creates some separation. Hi, that's me. So, you know, you can you can't sleep in without it being too loud or anything like that. So I like when the primary bedroom is separated from the rest of the bedrooms to a certain degree. Lots and lots of natural light flooding in. I love that they have the windows higher up uh, near the ceiling to really, once again, continue to have that sun rises to bring in that sunlight. It's just so awesome. That's the primary bedroom. We'll go there last. And we're going to take a quick peek in the basement. Um, it is unfinished. Well, actually, <laughs> apparently we're not. So I'm, we're going to go into the kitchen. A step-in pantry, we'll call it. Not quite a walk-in, but you know, you can step inside of it. The high ceilings here just are fantastic. Uh, now this patio I had an extra lock on it, wasn't able to get out there, but you can still get a good peek out of small patio about there. And then you can really get a look at how much open space you have in this community, which is just beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna check out the basement. It is it is unfinished, so it'll be on the a quicker side. Just a quick walkthrough to give an idea of the space. I won't spend as much time down here. 
then we're going to finish up with the finale of the primary bedroom. Guys, if you're digging these videos, if you watched a few of them, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. I know it's a simple ask, but it really does help me a ton. So I'd so, 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 so appreciate it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the Alamosa from Taylor Morrison, once again, in Macanta. Uh, my name is Tori Drake. I'm a local Denver realtor who does re a lot of work in the new construction space uh, in the greater Denver area. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns about new construction or resale, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is below. And if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing because that means a lot to me. It's a selfish, selfish ask, but it helps a lot. I'll see you guys on the next one.